Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. This is the Bielsa Journeyman. We're still at Volin Lusk, nearing the end of the season. In fact, we'll reach the end of the season in today's episode. We've got a lot of games to get through, but we will talk about all of them. Uh, last episode, we had the uh, <clears throat> the game against Nantes from France in the Euro Cup 2 semifinals, which we won on aggregate. And uh, we will be in the finals against AZ from the Arita VC in the Netherlands. That will end. Uh, that will end the episode today. Uh, but right now we're going to jump into Shakhtar. We beat Karanamets 4-1. So taking a look at the league, we are eight points back still. Shakhtar still yet to lose a game this whole season. That is insane insane in fact i want to show you guys let's let's take a look at these guys because there was something about their goalkeeper when i had when i had to go in and vote you know you have the end of season voting for awards look at this guy 27 games six goals allowed 23 clean sheets that guy's freaking sick sick can't believe that those are insane and he's only pushing a 7.1 that's insane i was like i can't even vote for my keeper against that guy those are some stupid numbers so yeah i wanted to show you guys that taking a look at our squad uh let's see we like to look at goals so there's our leading goal scores 32 17 and 16 so what is that 30 33 65, 65 goals from our front line, from our attacking three. And I would like to get a couple of these guys up into double digits. Kaczynski has a shot. He only needs one more. He's got an XG of 10. But uh, Robinson's right on mark. Camps is overperforming a little. Vera is just a huge goal scorer. And I'd like to get a couple more guys into the double-digit assist as well, which we have a chance. I don't know that I've ever had more than one or two people. So if we can get, uh, we've already got two. So if we could get four guys, that would be huge. I don't think I've ever had that. Uh, we've set a league rec, uh, the Euro league rec, the Euro record for goals scored in a competition. We have record number of goals. For the club history and we're one shut out away one clean sheet away from a new clean sheet record for the club as well so we're playing Shakhtar in the Ukrainian Cup today I just noticed I had reclined my chair back again to be comfortable off camera and you could see the little curvature so I have locked it in place again so that should be fixed uh, camps and Robinson up top Teruya in the number 10 Kaczynski Mazarenko Lyolka same people Tazarenko still uh, is at the right back Heidenreich is in there and Vera is coming back for between nine days and three weeks so yeah I just don't know when he's gonna make it back Hopefully for the end of season, but that's our that's our uh, roster for today. Our starting eleven. Let's pump fists. We're the underdogs, and that suits us down to the ground. Nice stadium, huh? And there's a good crowd. Wow, that is packed over there. We're in white. I think that's our fans. I think we have brought a huge contingent. Uh, this is Shakhtar Stadium, so uh, I don't know what stadium they play in. But, uh, yeah, they're in the orange. We're in the white. And let's see if we can get a result here. Knocked away by Tarasenko for a corner. Not a big fan of those. Let's check our, uh, look for our highlights, speed. All right, Camps controls it. He's on the run. Knocked away. It tr trickles out. Come on, boys. Let's encourage him here. Oh, there's a nice interception. 
Robinson should have stayed on that ball. Unfortunately, he did not. Tarasenko gets beaten again. And it looks like Heidenreich knocked that out. Another corner. Gursky, I tell you what, this club, man, uh, Shakhtar, the goalkeeper, shutouts, goal scorers, insane. Just some crazy numbers. I was uh, I was mind boggled when I was going through the voting. Oh, and he goes near post. What a save by Heidenreich. Or maybe it wasn't a save, or there was an offsides. Not sure. Uh, let's uh, demand more. Tarasenko, a bruised thigh. We'll ignore that. We have yet to get a shot here, fellas. All right, here's a highlight. Corner, near post. Lyoka sends it wide. Oh, come on. And we're back to Shakhtar highlights. I guess that's why they're so good this year. The fact that we haven't beaten them at all, I am leery about the possibility today. That was a miss hit. We'll take the goal kick there. They're playing a 4 2 3 1. A little more attacking than us. Similar shape, though. Similar. All right, uh, Furlong, Teruya, you got to get back and get that ball, man. And I don't know who kicked that. It was on Shakhtar. That's going to be a goal kick. Got some tired guys, but they'll rebound a little bit here at the half. So four shots to one, only one on target, but it was a clean shot. They got a full point on it. Both clubs with two yellows, 82 and 84% passing. We have got the possession. Uh, we need to pump the fist, grab that one goal. Start the second half. Let's give them the encouragement. Over the top, Camps. Oh, Camps could not get past Milnovic. Milnovic, however you want to pronounce it, Furlong. I think he's going to lump this with a floater. There it is. The keeper punches it away. And, of course, it goes right to their guy. It's like a Garth Brooks song. Wide open spaces for their players. Furlong over in a center half position. And... Oh, what a save by Heidenreich. He laid out full extension. Furlong was not looking good there. Really slow. Really slow. He's playing a 6-3. Heidenreich makes a big save there. Holds on to it. Uh, I'm going to sub him off. I'm not happy with, uh, with what he's doing. Let's bring on uh, Yarmolenko, get him on. And Lyoka's not playing well. Let's bring Carabella on for him. Let's give a pep talk, faith, make a difference, confirm the subs. All right, Radnov. I couldn't find him there. Looking for Yarmolenko. Oh, and Yarmolenko just got toasted. Good run for recovery, though. There was a shot from range. Trying to figure out what Yarmolenko's doing defensively. Oh, Fanillo should have put that one in the net. I don't think Heidenreich could find his footing to even try to make a save. 
Come on. Deep ball into the corner. Kaczynski's there. There's Yarmolenko. Oh, my goodness. Come on, boys. No, that's blocked. Boy, they are they are putting some good defensive pressure. Robinson. Oh, and he's taken down in the box, but it's going to be a corner. Let's demand more. I don't want to do anything stupid and blow the, blow this. I mean, if we can hold them scoreless at home and get a draw, then we really set up. To maybe have an opportunity. Yarmolenko just got toasted and misses a tackle. Oh no! 20th goal of the season for Goncharenko. That was unlucky. Lost the tackle. One save. Two saves, and then, oh, man, he just couldn't do anything that third time. Unlucky that it went to him. Um, we're going to have to go attacking. I've already made two subs. Is this, hold on, is this the one? Teruya is not playing well. All right, we're going to drop camps back to number 10, and then we will bring McCaleb on. And neither one of my strikers are doing well. I'm going to bring Stoika on. Okay, I think this is the one we can make five with three. So that's going to be four from two. So we can still make one more later. Just get some fresh legs in there. All right, looks like we're going to put some man marking on that guy. Oh, man. We've scored a lot off of that kind of play. Mazarenko, do something. Beat your man. Crossed in. Come on. Take your chances here, boys. Carabella gets a yellow. All right, 85th minute. Radonov for Makarenko. Yeah, we can do that. That'll be our last sub. Bidney's playing great. Four minutes of stoppage time. Uh, we need to go in here, uh, high tempo. Let's do more direct passing. Take that off. And you know what? I'm going to hit early crosses because we need to try to get the ball into the box more and maybe play around some of that, getting the hitting the ball right in the defender's legs. Ugh. All right, they just carved us open pretty easy there. Oh, he was not off sides. Damn it. Makarenko and Bidney just got beaten there. He got in behind both of them. Oh, ugh. All right, that's going to make it tough. Yeah, he was on sides. Makarenko kept him on. Kept him on. We need to get one. We need to get one back. Oh, there was a big save. Oh, my goodness. Come on, boys.
We are not going to get this done. I didn't think we'd have a chance again. Shakhtar has looked, un I mean, they have been so good this year. Stay on it. Good. I thought it was going to be a good outlet ball. It looked good. It looked quality, but it wasn't. It was pathetic. And that's a 2-0 defeat. Oh, there was no two legs. This was just a one-legger. Well, then I did make the right calls. I, 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 I don't need to watch them celebrating, man. Yeah, no, let's walk off the field. All right, we'll talk to him. And Shakhtar were excellent, absolutely devastated. A bit more entertainment. All right, well, the first shot at Silverware goes lacking. We have qualified for the Euro Cup, but we're still in contention. Oh, so we've qualified straight for the Euro Cup. Okay, so we don't have to go through qualifying next year. So that's good. But we can still make Champions League. We pay out 220000 Runners up. All right. Well, we've got some, uh, some other matches for the Premier League. Let me go take care of those. And I will be back for the season finale match for more silverware for you guys in just a second. And we'll see how we end up in the league. Just some breaking news. We've just beaten Russ Lviv 4-0. Uh, Mikhailov, Camps, Lyoka, and Kvartsiani with goals. And if we take a look, we have confirmed our best ever Premier League finish, which will be second place. We qualify for the Champions League uh, by securing a top two finish. And the board has set our initial budgets at $2.39 million for payroll and $20.8 million for transfers. So that is some good news. Um, we may not be here to spend it. I don't know. <laughs> but now that we qualify for Champions League, maybe we will. I don't know why I went there. All right, well, I've got some more stuff to play for. Uh, we'll be back for the match or any other breaking news items. Vera resumes full training, so he will make his return to the lineup today. And this is a young guy made his debut last match. He's 17 years old. Uh, he is listed for loan, and that's fine. But uh, look at his physicals. Came up through our, was he in our, yeah, he came up through our youth system, so that's good. So he's going to partner up. I wonder, I'm going to go here, but let me redo this because I think Camps is our guy there. All right, so Furlong, Radinov, Bidney, Tarasenko on the back line, Heidenreich in goal, Krachinsky, Mazarenko, Lyolka on the midfield, Camps at the base of the triangle up top, Gokushka, Garkushka, and Vera. And that'll put uh, Robinson on the bench. That's crazy. Do I want to do that? He's playing a 7-8-8. Now that's since, yeah, he's not playing that good at this level. I think, yeah, I think I got to go Robinson here, guys. Yeah, I think so. That would be awesome to bring him in like that and have him do well, but I don't think he's quite ready for that. And here we come. All right, we're in the white. Oh, you know what? I want to, I want to check something. Yeah, we're 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 fine. I want to drop that. Let's come back a little bit, and I'm going to drop tempo just a smidge. I like the higher tempo. Oh, look at the play by Heidenreich to come out and challenge for the ball. He puts it up in the stands, and that's fine. Look at the sellout here, boy. Woof. Now we are playing in Turkey. We have hired uh, additional uh, security, armed security, because we know uh, they like to kill you when you go to Turkey. Nothing personal if you're Turkish out there. I only speak from, uh, you know, from knowledge. Come on, boys.
Oh, down to the touchline. Oh, my God. He just dribbled around three players, including my keeper, and gets his 10th goal of the season. Farzad Uzmanov. Ow. Ow. All right. Yeah, we're going to go standard width here. I think I like forcing him outside, but I don't like having my fullback that far in. I think it's really opened us up to, for some, some plays like that. Boy, they are showing some pace. Bidney, I, don't, I think Bidney was picking dandelions. Great tack. Oh, they're going to call a penalty. No. No. He had all ball there. Come on. No, there was no penalty. Oh, no. Two chances at silverware. We're not going to get anything. I'm going to have to go up to attacking now. 2-0, and we're only 10 minutes in, boys. Let's, uh, let's demand more. Oh, over the top. Nice control by Vera. He beats his man. Nice ball out. Beat his man. Oh, that was not good, Robinson. But at least we're on the score sheet with a shot. And it trickles in from Lyolka. Header off the corner. And there is one that gets us back in the game. That was huge. Oh, uh, Lyoka just crashed in on the defender and the keeper. That was great. Now don't let them return the favor here. Furlong. We don't have get stuck in on, so that's that's good. All right, there's a good clearance. Camps is there. Oh, Vera. This is the first time we've seen Vera in a while. A little slow of foot there to try to get the shot in. Let's encourage him. They've gotten a goal back. Oh, that's a horrible foul. Where's the card? Where's the card? All right, Vera's going to take the strike into the wall. I don't think he's our best set piece taker. Mm, I guess that was close enough to take a crack at it though, I suppose. You know, it was a good good job to get ahead on the ball. Real solid, but we're not getting good clearances here. And that's that's troubling. Still a lot of action going on here in the first thirty minutes. Oof. But we need one more to equalize. Come on. There's one into the box. Hearings is gonna have a counter. He's got taggy. Oh, come on. No, Heidenreich sat down, and that was too easy. Too easy. Um, all right, I think we're going to go here. Camps can play center. I think we're all right there. Jeez, I hope you guys couldn't hear that. My stomach's ready to eat. Oh, uh, 2 1 at half would be a lot better than 3 1. 
Now, if we can manage to get one back here. Oh, camps! Ah, uh, no. So, 3 1 at the half. Wow. I'm going to point the finger. Much better showing. I would throw a water bottle right there, but I think we've determined that throwing water bottles doesn't go well. And I don't think Beals is much of a water bottle thrower. That was a horrible play. Nice ball. Oh, Kurchinski tried to feed it through. Furlong trying to make up ground. Radinov goes out and misses the tackle. And there's an open shot. Heidenreich with a huge save to keep us alive. Let's tell him to focus. All right, they liked that one a little bit. I don't know if Beer is going to be able to play the whole game. And if he's not getting the job done. You know, I'm going to drop back to positive. I don't know that that does a whole lot in the scheme of things. Oh, and Uzumov's going to be there for the counter opportunity. Good tackle. Furlong turns it up. There's a good ball. Kaczynski shows some pace. Somebody give him a player. Uh, Lyoka sends it over the goal. God, we need one here real soon. I don't think I have it on. I just want to... Time wasting is never. Tempo. I'm going to drop that back to higher. Again, my understanding on tempo is you can make more mistakes at the higher tempo. So you can still play a high tempo. We've got no time wasting. But this puts us, you know, maybe we don't make as many Screw ups, possibly. Possibly. Oh, that would have been a great place for an own goal on the playback. Pachinski. Oh, he took the shot. Come on, boys, find a gap. Find a gap. All right. In danger of being booked. And he's not playing well. Let's bring the youngster on, man. He can't do any worse, right? He can play with either foot. You know what? If we switch these two guys like that. Vera, Vera can play poacher as well. So I like that better. And, you know, Tarasenko's playing crap. Let's bring on Yarmolenko for him. And Mazarenko's not playing great either. Let's bring, uh, well, maybe not. Makarov, yeah, he's a good defender. He's 21. Yep, we'll do that. All right, a triple subage. Oof. Nervous about that. Demand more. Okay. Mayolka, Carabella. Oh, it's a cup match. Damn it. Well... There goes that. This is why no league should ever allow more than three substitutions, seven players on the bench. That way everybody's playing under the same rules 
all the time. <laughs> we got to ignore it, and we're not going to do anything here. Yarmolenko tried to put it on the goal just to try to get a play. Oh, that was that was brutally bad. Brutally bad. Well, I think we did a good job getting there. Is that the silver lining we're going to take from this? Do you think every team really does the same posture and motion? The, ooh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's bullshit. Uh, I'm going to go hands on hips. Not happy with your performance. Fuming. Shocking. The agony of defeat. Disappointed. One to two days for him. We get 1.76 million for the loss. Well, he, he's getting ready to go on rest anyway, so I'll rest him for two weeks. No other games for him to play. Well, I was hoping for some silverware when this episode started. We get 463 from television revenue. 1.4 in coefficient money. We pay out 1.4. So that goes off. Vera's going off on international duty, and there's our season review. So I just finished recording all of these three episodes today. So that's for the week. And I typically do that Friday, Saturday. I try to record all my episodes and I can render them and, you know, have the whole week to get them up. My problem is I, I expected not to have a contract. So I t technically will have to resign to look for another job. But if we jump in here, all right, France goes in on the 19th, Germany, England goes on the 24th. If we look at job security, see, none of those leagues are showing up just yet. And I know Leeds is available, but you can see those countries. Actually, England is in there, but they're not showing up because they're not playable. That's why. So I don't think there's anything for us. But again, it doesn't have to be a step up. Remember, Copenhagen's available again. Wow head coaches so he left after not even a year because remember they came in last year wow that's that's pretty insane they can't keep a coach so like i said it doesn't have to be a move up that's the you know just it's a different mindset and it's difficult it's difficult for me at least so I'm I'm interested to get some of these other leagues in. Um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna resign. I'm gonna wait till the end of June to see what transpires once these other leagues come into play. Now, if there's some other leagues at that moment that are interesting then we'll have a decision to make. Otherwise, we'll just continue on and do one, at least one more season at Bolin and see if we can't make some more headway. Uh, so next episode, we will start off looking at our team, the season review, and uh, you know all this other stuff. Thanks for another season. Let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking as far as uh, moving and like i said i i didn't expect to have that new three-year contract uh that was my fault for going on vacation but you know so be it uh, i can always resign if i want to but um not right now uh, real quick uh, end of season squad Pachinski. okay new season team report okay that's your fourth cut that's your upcoming thing and all this other stuff we'll look at later on all right guys hit the like button subscribe and we'll see you next time take care bye